While the Big Bag Theory eventually revealed that Sheldon had a secret problem he tried to hide, this sad twist was foreshadowed more than two years earlier. Like most sitcom stars, the Big Bang Theory's main characters changed and grew as the show progressed, Howard, for instance, was a sleazy creep in the show's early seasons, but he went on to become a surprisingly sweet, supportive partner. Similarly, Penny's initially thin characterization was fleshed out as viewers got an idea of her personality outside of Leonard's instant infatuation with her. Of course, Sheldon was arguably the most notable instance of this gradual character growth. By the Big Bang Theory series finale, Sheldon was humbly thanking his friends and family for all of their support over the years as he accepted his Nobel Prize. This would have been inconceivable back when the series first began but Sheldon grew more sensitive, caring, and tactful as the show continued. His friendship with Penny and his relationship with Amy both helped him in this regard, but the Big Bang Theory also humanized its protagonist by revealing more details from his past. For example, the show hinted at one of Sheldon's secret shames years before it was fully revealed. The Big Bang Theory hinted at Sheldon's hoarding years early. Jim Parsons' despondent Sheldon watches TV on the couch in The Big Bang Theory. The revelation that Sheldon was secretly a hoarder came in Season 9, Episode 19, The Solder Excursion Diversion. That outing revealed Sheldon's fortress of shame where he keeps everything he has ever owned, proving that Sheldon was a hoarder since before the Big Bang Theory began. However, this twist didn't come out of nowhere. Another member of the Big Bang Theory's cast of characters teased the reveal years earlier when Sheldon visited his mother Mary unexpectedly. In Season 7, Episode 18, The Mommy Observation, Mary revealed that Sheldon's bedroom had remained the same, untouched, since his childhood. Viewers could have surmised that Sheldon had a hard time letting go of the past from this character detail alone, but the subtle hint wasn't confirmed until over two seasons later. This quirk may have been written off as part of Mary's sentimental streak, but even this would still be evidence that Sheldon could be a hoarder. Mary clearly shared his obsessions with holding on to old belongings, judging by his old room, so it was no surprise when it turned out that Sheldon rented a storage unit so he could always hang on to even his most trivial possessions. Sheldon's mother didn't help his hoarding habit. Lori Metcalf as Mary Cooper in the Big Bang Theory S01E04. While all of the Big Bang Theory's characters had flaws, Sheldon was dealt a particularly unfortunate hand when it came to his hoarding. However, he wasn't the first person in his family to exhibit this kind of behavior. His mother repeatedly proved that she had an unhealthy relationship with their shared past, alternating between complaining bitterly about Sheldon's childhood and lauding his achievements. In this context, it's not hard to see how Sheldon wound up developing the habit, all in an effort to keep his personal history in order.